Hi, this is Andrew, and today I'm presenting to you things about simple writing, especially hamburger paragraphs and basic referencing for my writing classes. And so, firstly, this is the food topic that we are doing, and mine is about a Korean soup. The topic, the title, is not in Korean or Japanese, but it's in simple English. And you can put the Korean or Japanese food title, whatever you want, there. But the main part is this should be in simple English. But it doesn't really look, all of this doesn't really look like a professional document. To make it look professional, we have to change a few things. And so first, to change the title, change this to, in the home tab, heading 1. And to me that still looks too small. So what I'll do is change the size to 16. Make sure the heading is on Arial. Okay. And bold. Now that looks much clearer. The next thing is my name block. This, or all of this still, one more change. It doesn't really look professional, and so what I need to do is change it from Century to a better font, Times New Roman. If it's not there, go down, 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 and it should be down around here. Times New Roman and 12 point size. And that is a standard for uh, professional documents. The next thing is, is to move this over to here, so it's clear what it is. And you should not, should not do right align. Please don't do that. Instead, use this on the ruler to move it across to about there. If you can't see the ruler, go to View, go to Ruler, and you can turn it on and off. So, not the top part, but the bottom part. Move that across to about there. Next is, is a problem. I'll use my pen. Here, there's no space for me to make any notes for your writing. What I need to do is give you some information to help your writing, such as, please check spelling. And as you can see, that looks really, really messy. So you need to give me some space to make my notes. In Home, go to Paragraph, go to here to change the line spacing. Either 1.5 or 2. So I have space to make my notes. 1.5 for today. Then the next thing is, hmm, oh, this line is too straight. That makes when you read, come to the end and finding your way to the next line more difficult. So all of this should be left a line so that it's easier to find your way as you're reading to the next line. Next. This heading change to heading 2 and looks too small. So, I'll, Arial, OK. Change it to 14. Bold and italic. OK. Done. So now it looks a lot more professional. Next is the writing itself.
The next is the Hamburg, Hamburger Paragraph part. The Hamburger Paragraph, as you should remember from classes, has three parts. There's the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and conclusion sentence. What's important is the topic sentence, like introduction, supporting sentences, which is the meat of your hamburger, and then your conclusion sentence, which wraps up everything, kind of holds everything together. So, one more time, there are three parts to your paragraph. There's the topic sentence, then there's the supporting sentences, this is the meat of your paragraph and your conclusion sentence, which wraps it up and holds everything together. So my topic sentence is the best food in Korea is probably spicy tofu soup, known locally as sundubu. Then the next sentence is something interesting for the reader. This food is popular in Seoul. Now my students need to make a reference to our textbook. For me, I made a reference to, this is our textbook, reading in the real world intro. I made a reference to um, something in Unit 3, Unit 3 about food and organic food, how there's food that is actually bad for us. And so, I said, recently there are many health concerns, especially as people's diets contain unnatural chemicals that can cause cancer. Now, this number one, that number one refers to our book. This is our book. And then this is about the food itself. Therefore, it is better to make our own healthy food. Spicy tofu soup is a simple, nice recipe that can make it, that can, uh, there is that anyone can make. Okay. Next is it is made with, and these are the ingredients. And the ingredients I got from number two. Number two is Wikipedia. And you can see that it says the title, Wikipedia, and the address, the exact address. So if I go to Wikipedia, this is the address, and I just press copy and paste here. And this is the information. Um, cur uncurdled tofu, vegetables, sometimes mushrooms, chili powder, so this information, do not, do not copy and paste. Instead, use your own words. It is made with tofu, vegetables, mushrooms, chili sauce, and sometimes seafood. It doesn't say exactly that. It says something similar. And... It is usually served in a heavy stone pot and is great to have on a winter's day. I know this. This is my original information. Because it's my original information, no reference needed. No one is exactly sure when, blah, blah, blah. So this is information from Wikipedia. History, origins, don't know, Joseon Dynasty. And so all of this came from Wikipedia.
All of this came from Wikipedia. Again, do not copy and paste. Instead, use your own words and say where the information came from. You can, you can, if you really, really needed to, copy and paste from Wikipedia uh, something like, this dish is typically eaten with a bowl of cooked rice and several banchan. Okay, so copy and then here um, seafood heavy stone pot maybe here is a good place okay then according to wikipedia comma and quotation mark quotation mark period inside the quotation marks I'll zoom in Okay, so according to Wikipedia, and please note here I have a comma and quotation marks, then I paste plain text the exact words from Wikipedia and I still give the reference. Two. Okay. And so saying according to is the same as John said blah blah blah. Or same as Yuki said he is sick. So this is how you can reference, use exactly the same words. In my class, there is a limit of one sentence you can copy and paste just one sentence otherwise if you do too much then 100 then it's not really your writing anymore so i think that's everything okay and so you can use wikipedia for your source of information. If you can't find other pages uh, in your language on Wikipedia, go down to the left side and you'll see languages. So you can see the information in Korean. You can see the information in Japanese. But please use the information in English. So it's easy for me to find and check your information. If you can't find, if you really cannot find your information on Wikipedia, you can go to Google or DuckDuckGo and uh, do a search and you'll find a lot of other web pages. But find a good web page. Facebook, probably not a good source, but find a better source of information. And if you want more information about hamburger paragraphs and how to write hamburger paragraphs, there is a lot on the internet. Topic sentence, supporting sentences, and so forth. And if you want more information on how to do uh, referencing like this, you can go to, again, Google and type in referencing. And there's many different ways. The most common is APA. And there's also MLA. Here it is. We, for my class, it's okay just to use the footnote system. That's okay for my class. If you have any questions, any problems, you can email me and I can help you anytime. For my class, when you hand in your writing, make sure 
you hand in everything you should. So in our course information, go down to page three and it shows how to submit. Here, it gives you the information you need. Basically, you need your writing topic. This is number one, should be printed on A4. And then you need a copy of your resources. So a photocopy from the writing, uh, the reading in the real world book, and any other sources you used, maybe Wikipedia. Also, the self-reflection. Make sure you fill this in before class. Now, with the references, make sure you highlight the key words you used in your references. Can I zoom in? In my class, we don't do vocabulary quizzes because I expect you to learn vocabulary from your writing. But you need to show me you are learning vocabulary from your reading and writing. And so, for example, from here, um, keywords like keylogger program and netbull are used in the writing. So the vocabulary here is used in the writing. And please highlight with a yellow marker the vocabulary from your reference and the vocabulary in your main writing article. It's all written here. If you and also make sure everything is stapled together. I don't want to lose papers, so you really must attach all the papers together. I think that's everything. So if you have any questions, you can ask.